Yeah, I had a question from somebody. And uh, uh, this has come up before. Somebody was wondering about a 444 Marlin. Now, I've never had one. I used to have a, a 44 Magnum Marlin, which I liked. I, I thought it was a reasonable gun, but at that time it was hard to get anything. You were getting pistol shells, and I really didn't uh, care for those. You know, you had uh, odd little bullets that didn't really want to feed good, it tended to jam. You know, now, of course, I could cast bullets for it. So it would have been all right to keep it, but 444 is really like a the cartridge is like a stretched out 44 mag, which is fine. I think the cartridge has great potential. It's like you know, like a 4570, you can go down to about 300 grain. 444. 300 is kind of the top, you know, so it's just, it's just underneath it, but, you know, lighter bullet, shoots flat, uh, I have no problem with the cartridge, I've never run across them, they're, I think, a little unusual, because at the time when they made them, it was because they weren't making the 4570 in the 1895 model. But once they started doing that again, well, then the 444 kind of went out of favor. Though the, the 444 is, is the same 1895 model. But I think they actually are making them again. You know, Re Remington is. But I can I could see owning one. Well, I would hesitate on the new ones, but they used to, at the time when they were making them, you could get them in the 24 inch barrel or the 20 inch barrel. You could get them in the Ballard Rifling or the Micro Group. So it's kind of a, for me, you know, okay, the gun basically looked like a lot like my 336As. You know, short mag, round barrel, but it would probably be an excellent deer gun. You know, I, I really wouldn't hesitate, uh, particularly if you could find the right mold to make a good, you know, like a 300 grain flat nose bullet, I think you'd be in business. I think they'd work fine. But then I wouldn't want the micro glue. So if I could get, you know, if they had a 24 inch Ballard rifling, yeah, uh, I wouldn't hesitate on buying one of the old ones again. You know, new ones, that's a whole other deal, but you know, that's a personal opinion people have on them. I'm surprised that the Remington is making them, though the 440 cartridge was kind of a, a cooperation between Marlin and Remington to come up with that design. So yeah, I, I would, it would depend on the gun. The cartridge I have no problem with. Uh, I. Like I say, it'd be just a step down from the 4570. You know, I, such a, a, a little bit of a step down, you know, that, that for me, I don't know, I guess if I ran across a good deal on one and it was the right gun, yeah, I would buy it. But I have a preference for the 4570. You know, the, the Components are, are much more readily available. 444, it might be a little hard to find the bullets and the brass and loaded ammunition. I mean, it, there could be problems with that. that. That shouldn't really hold a guy back if you reload. If you don't reload, uh, then it gets a little touchier. But uh, like I say, the cartridges point, it would depend a lot on the particular rifle. You know, they, they didn't, I don't think they had any of them in the octagon barrel or they're all the round barrel. And like I said, they all, I think, had the short mag tube. Not a big drawback. But I would, like, if I had one of them in this exact same 
design, I'd be a happy man. You know, but there again, if I had <laughs> even a 3030 in this design, I'd be a lot happier than, than I am with the, the 336 type where they end up putting a micro groove in it. You know, I like the 1895 design. But I'm sure, I'm sure they're perfectly fine a rifle and like I say, I wouldn't hesitate if I could find the right deal on the right gun. But with that cartridge, I would have no problems. I mean, it's it's what I like, you know, a straight wall case that you can put a flat nose bullet in with a rim on it, like things were intended. So, yeah, I got nothing to, to bad to say about a 444. I just, I've never had one, and I, I have never run into anybody who has had one. Like I said, not real common, because it kind of fell into a odd little niche there. Though at one time before Marlin started making these again, they were Marlin's big gun, you know, so. But it, I run into the same thing like, uh, I, at one time, I was looking at a 45 long Colt. Well, there again, you know, the one I was looking at was a shorter barrel, which I don't really, it's not my first choice. I would prefer to have the 24 inch barrel. But when I was looking at it, I was thinking, okay, you know, really, uh, you can load them again up to almost the level of a uh, of the lower end of a 4570 so there's a kind of a niche in there but to me uh, you know the 4570 can be downloaded to do the job that any of those two would do so, so i, I kind of i i i turn to have you know one gun that I really like you know I don't know uh, but like I said I wouldn't hesitate on it if you could find a good deal on one if it's the right gun but like I say I would kind of prefer you know the Ballard rifling I if it's got the micro groove in I'd think twice unless you're committed to shooting jacketed bullets but like I said, I like, you know, big flat nose and a chunk of lead and 300 grain, you know, that's enough. So, in my opinion, yeah, I, I would look at it, you know, like the guy said, he, he's got an eye on one. So there again, it, it, it isn't the cartridge I would be concerned about unless you don't, if you don't reload, well, then it gets to be a problem. But I would be concerned about the particular gun. Because, uh, like I say, I'm really not the, into the, the guide gun type of thing, the short barrel carbines. I, I like I like a lot of barrel. And I like a slow twist. So, uh, that's really all I have to say about it. But like I say, I, that 44 Magnum that I had, and this is just like a hopped up version of a 44 Magnum, I shot quite a few deer with that. I had no problem with that. You're limited in the range, but it worked fine. You can get more range out of the 444, but your, you know, your bullets you're dealing with about the, the same weight of bullet. But if you could find the right mold, I, I never looked to see if they actually make a, a like a 300 grain flat nose bullet mold for them. But it has potential. It would be an interesting, like for me, it would be an interesting option. But still, when it gets right down to it, you know, if 